Hello everybody, Huge Dev here, along with Striver from Striver Gaming. Where the heck are you? There you are. I hide in the shadows. And we are once again playing Warframe. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. We've made quite a bit of progress since uh, we last made a video. I've maxed out quite a number of. God, this thing is inaccurate as heck. It's quite hard a to number control. is um, another yeah. exaggeration. We've maxed out quite a number of. Uh, here's some erudite you need. Of characters and things. I got a new little sentinel there. Yeah. We've gotten Kubros. I've gotten a uh, Helminth Charger. We've gotten Kavats. It's just, oh man. Yeah. We've got Arc Wings. As you can see right here, I only have 19 left. I need more fish oil. He needs more erudite. So. That's what we're going for this this time. And uh, there has been an update to this, to this place in particular, actually. Oh, wonderful. Uh, where? Uh, there's some of those drones here. They might not recognize me, Sir David. How? They might not recognize me with this new hat. Didn't you, did you have that hat last time, or did you not? No. I'm, I'm well, hat. check it out. He's got that hat now. Okay, I'm gonna distract, uh, get them distracted and away from us. There we go. They should attack that now. Uh, no, that's unless we have an idol on lure, we can't kill those things. Vomvolists, that's what they're called. Yeah, so let's go look for iridite and get the heck away from those things. There has been an update um, to this game come here where uh, there are two new types of uh, Eidolon Terrorists and they're basically they're, here's some more Iridite which are ow god go away go over there leave me alone wait I found more Iridite yeah so uh, known as Hydralists and Gantulists Apparently, though, the only difference between those, uh, those Terralit, those, you know, Eidolons, is that they have a different, uh, weapon for their primary arm. And that, that's it. Which is kind of disappointing. I figured with the name, here's some, uh, Iridite here. Over here. With, with a name like Hydralist and Terralist, I would have thought that one of them would have been like something you find in the o uh, near the ocean or in the water somewhere that comes out of the water and is like a giant uh, Eidolon serpent or something. And then the other one, Gantulist, I would have expected like some giant Eidolon behemoth. Stop shooting me, you piece of crap! You were saying? I can't get over there. They also added names to all these places. We are at Garatot Lake, my favorite fishing spot. Ah! Ow! The what do you shoot? The Vomvalist? The little drone guys? Yeah! They've always been able to shoot. They, they were just having some sort of glitch where they wouldn't shoot us for some reason, but they fixed it, unfortunately. Crap. Yeah, Loki's a very difficult character to use, and I don't mean that, like, uh, and I don't mean that in the sense that um, he's he controls differently. His abilities are a little complicated, because his abilities have nothing to do with damaging your, uh, your targets, your enemies, which is strange for a Warframe. His abilities are to create a clone of himself, to distract his enemies, turn invisible swap places with his enemy that momentarily also confuses them and to remove their primary weapons unless they're like the Vomvalists or the Corpus Walkers in which case their weapons are embedded in them and they can't do any and I can't do anything about it but it's it makes it a little difficult to uh, level him up because you use his abilities but at the same time, it doesn't do any actual damage. Can I actually get into the void real quick so I can get some energy back? Be nice. I have to build up some energy. 
No, just like dash forward and you can, I can just walk through. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I'm kind of a beast in the void. Oh, everybody knows about lo uh, Limbo. Everybody knows about Limbo, and not many people like him in PvP. Only the people that play hey. as him like him in PvP. Check it out. What the heck is that over there? Oh, it's Gamer. Deep Bow. Deep Bow. So, I just used another thing bow. to make Limbo thinking unfair. Grab a Nikana. I just grab a dragon Nikana. Oh, you didn't have that when I was kicking your butt. No, but I did have the dark split sword when I was kicking yours. We don't talk about such things. We do talk about such things. Which, aren't you interested in getting the dark sword? Yes. Yeah. Not the split sword, just the dark. Just the dark sword. It's not as powerful as the split sword, but it's a lot easier to acquire, and it does have a nice look to it. Is there any charcoal? I'm a sword enthusiast. What can I say? Should try a hammer. Eh, I tried a hammer. I didn't like it. Should try the jet kitag. <laughs> It's a jet-powered grenier hammer. I see no fish. I see fish. So, I see the fish. I see the fish. So guys, if you play this I've game, got to fish. Question, what, yeah, beat what, that. Two point one kilogram. Yeah, if you play this, uh, if you play Warframe, what Warframe do you play as? And do you possess a prime? Because I don't. Like at all. None of us do. I got prime parts. By the way, did you see that? Crap. <laughs> did you see that one episode? Speaking just off basis, we were talking about a, a Warframe cartoon that, that a YouTuber does. It's not really a cartoon; it's just a, a sh Warframe show that they do. Voiceover, almost. Yeah, it's a voiceover. A Warframe. Uh, um, did you hear? See the one where? Um, yeah. Ivra comes up and's like, "Give me all of your credits and building stuff," and like. Sorry, I don't have anything but prime parts. And the other guy starts, and the Ira runs away screaming. I did not see that one. That's pretty funny. Come on. Oh, I made it. Too far. What? Did you set a waypoint? You yeah, did. <laughs> it's probably kind of boring yeah. to just watch us sit here and fish, but we're not going to be doing this the entire time. Just no, for a little gonna... while. And then we're going to go exploring. We're going to explore. Hang on. Bingo. Bingo. Oh, I did okay. see the one that was like, you know, talking all crikey. Uh oh. I, I'm, uh, what? What uh oh? Perilous. Oh, look, there it is. And yeah, it's just a terrorist. And yeah, it's just a terrorist. I haven't seen any of the new Eidolons. Look at the rock. Rock. Yeah. What? The one with your face on it? Hey. That one right there. That one. That one right there. <laughs> Boom! Going up. Oh, I love my new color, red engines, and I got rid of the green paint in favor of my white to match my warframe. Uh. Oh, we should actually show them our base at some point. Oh yeah. Let them see yeah, what that love is. It. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Our our dojo. Dojo. Our dojo. You we're know what gonna, you sound like? You're just gonna a, love our dojo, huh? You sound like um, delirious. Delirious? No, I didn't. For a I sound, split second. I sound more know. like Nogla. Or that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Whoa, I can see so clear from here. Why can't I fish from this? I can see everything in the water so clearly. <laughs> Developers, get on this. Make it so you can fish from your uh, arc wing. Look at this. It's so much clearer than when you're on the ground. Oh my god. Mm. Cool, we'll pick up the stuff. Let's go fly around. Let's find some iridite. Yeah. Oh, spot some iridite. What? You've already found. Oh. 
There's a shift button, or, well, I guess in your case, a trigger. Huh? I don't know. What do you use? To, yeah, we're staying off the ground because we don't want to deal with those things. Vomvalists are annoying. And we don't want to deal with that crap. What's this? Oh. They also added eagles on here. They did. Oh, hey, over here, Iridite. Yeah, they did. They added vehicles. Uh, called Dargans. I don't think no. they spawn during the night, which is unfortunate that it's night here now, but... Yeah, the Grenier tend to, like, pull out of this when it gets... Oh, yeah. they do! Here's one! What? Where? Oh, wait, that's a lure. Am I? No, yeah, that's, that's a lure. The stinking lures look like it. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. I probably should have picked a shotgun, considering that, uh... Get wrecked. Oh, get destroyed. Yeah, so I actually figured out what those, and by figured out I mean looked up, what those Eidolon lures do. And in, for those of you who don't know, what the Eidolon lures actually do is they can, uh, they absorb the Eidolon Vomvalists that have been killed around them. Here or, I suppose, been attacked to the point where they're uh, weakened enough around them. Uh, and then, once you've gotten, I believe, three Vomvalists absorbed by one of them, they stop absorbing uh, Vomvalists, and you can actually use them to anchor down and restrain a Terrorist. Which is pretty mm -hmm. interesting. So if you've gotten to the point where, uh, gotten to the point where you're attacking terrorists and able to actually deal damage to them, and you're having trouble keeping them still, and keeping them from using some sort of teleport ability or whatever, then go ahead and grab one of those Eidolon lures, uh, attack it, uh, attack it, hack it, and then get a few Eidolon, or, uh, yeah, Eidolon Bombalists in there. And then you can just hold it still, no problem. Let's go. Let's go. Where is Let's more? Let's the trench. Here's some iridite, actually, right here. But yeah, this is awesome, honestly. The, the Warframe game. Yeah. So, so what we played of it, it's been super fun. Yeah. More iridite. Gotta give, gotta give Dev a lot of credit. He has done a lot in this game. I have done quite a bit. And he, he has to he totally built up our clan dojo, which is our stronghold. Let's actually go show him, because we're getting close to the 20 minute mark, and I don't want to have this one go over after we get a couple more iridites. Iridite. Ow, you jerk. Wee, no. Let's actually go ahead and show him, uh, give him a little tour of our dojo. Alright. Let's head oh, back. Yeah, we have to fly back. Yeah, it's over here. Oh, we're... We were right next door, yeah. Aw. <laughs> I lost my wings. I'm probably just going to cut this part out. In, in mastery my, level eight. Mastery level eight in my time away. 
I'm gonna yeah. invite well, you, know, you like to Yeah, level two, <laughs> yeah. Oh god, yeah, probably somewhere around there. Or like two or three, I don't know. Gosh, but it's been quite some time. Remember, Funny Lou has a few videos kind of in between yours, so that was a little gap of time, but yeah, not much. Where are you? Oh, there you are. All right, so okay. let's start with the bottom floor. So this is our main hall. A teleporter over there. It's not very nothing real special. It's just got our little, uh, you know, hall upgrade status thing, whatever that thing's called. I don't really remember. Uh, over on the left, we have our training dojo, where we can duel our dueling, our little dueling uh, area. On the right is one of our many uh, reactors because this place needs a lot of power. So on the left, another reactor, but on the right, we have an oracle, and we are putting that oracle to good use because though that can't do anything uh, for research, over here we have the Tenno Lab. And we've already researched a few things. That's how I got the Nikana and how I got the dra and the Dragon Nikana off of that. Uh, Striver simply bought his Nikana. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm interested in collecting as many Warframes as I can, but I, I'm not sure which you one I want to get. Oh no, I have quite a few more to go. Uh, from here though, I the thing I want here the most is actually the Itza. Oh, the Itzal, because it's a very interesting, very nice looking arc wing. Oh, anyway, moving on to. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? No. Yes. Okay. This room's a lie. Moving on, uh, we have the bio lab where <laughs> I'm, <laughs> where I am building up, uh, the infected weapons for Nidus because I have Nidus as one of my characters now. I also want Jin. Jin looks interesting. I feel like he'd be an interesting uh, sentinel. Sick flips, bro. Anyway, moving on from there. On the left, we have an Orokin lab, though we can't really do much of anything with it right now. If anybody can tell me the point of these dragon keys, that'd be great, because I have no clue what they do. And I can't do this because there's an armistice going on and it's been going on for like three weeks now so you can build specter blueprints though which is nice but yeah i i don't know what these do other than greatly reduce some aspect of your warframe which is kind of ridiculous why would i want to put a handicap on a warframe i don't i don't get it there's got to be some good use to There's it. got to be, but I can't understand. I don't know what it is. Here is Striver's favorite place because it has the Prova research, which you can he can now actually purchase and the blueprint for and build on his own. He likes that thing. He thought it would look cool. I want the OptiCore. It's like a BFG. Hey, a big yeah, clam yeah, yeah. gun. <laughs> What's up? Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> yeah. So, that's this whole thing. And if you could tell me if I'm, I'm right about this, I don't know if I am. Does scanning enemies with this scanner actually allow you to see them in here instead of seeing them as holograms? Or is this just the way these are? Because I have no idea. Because some of them are holograms and some of them are actual lit up bodies. Like, I can pass through this, but this is an actual person. So, is that, like, do I have to scan them or is there a, a quota of how many I have to kill? Or what is, what is up with that? This is just the, um, yeah. <laughs> it's just the, you know, reactor area. This, on the other hand, is our final lab, the Chem Lab, which is, honestly, it'd be more appropriate to call it the Clem Lab, because it's it's just a place where you build all the Grenier stuff. 
and Imagine clem seems to be their favorite the word uh yeah we could start you can actually start researching this at any point it'd take 96 hours to research holy crap yeah we can start researching this oh ignis is also being researched because ahead, if, if there is the door, anything oh i can't start researching uh, the Jack Kitag until the Ignis is done being researched. So I can do it now. Oh, it's probably be, it's probably because you're trying to research it. That's why it wouldn't let me do it. Anyway, oh, got a little clan symbol there. It's uh, it's just the imminent eclipse symbol because if uh, if you've noticed every time I've gone in and out of a room, like I can do for here, it says Energy Lab. Hey, and three days. Twilight Eclipse. Three days? Cool. So, uh, our dojo is known as the Twilight Eclipse. That's our little clan name. We don't yeah, have any... It does have history. Star Wars history. We have a uh, uh, bit of an upstairs to it. So, first thing, we have the... Slowly. Yeah, we have the Great Hall up here not really a whole lot to see in here up here we have the greater hall where we have our trading post and a not yet constructed uh bank it's like a guild bank i don't know what the point of the guild bank is considering we I don't have seem to have much of a limit on our the amount of credits we can have so uh over here i think this one yeah over here this is the grand hall by the way. And over here we have our nice little, one of our nice little um, peaceful listen to that. Oh, it's so serene. Uh, anyway, we have one of our little gardens here. Uh, we have four of them, though that's the only one that's actually finished. So it's kind of pointless to show you the other ones until they're actually done. Continuing further on, we have, I don't remember what this room is called. I can never actually remember what this room is called. Hall of Heroes? I don't know. Hall of Heroes, let's just call it that. It's a, all it's, oh, hey. Loki on a Loki statue. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Do a flip. Do a flip? Like, what, this? Or like this. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Sick trick. Yeah. So we've got the Hall of Heroes there, a place to look at a Loki statue, I guess. We go even further upstairs, and we've got... Uh, this is a complete dead end here. On the right, we have... A nice little, uh, oh man, obstacle I can't, course. obstacle course, thank you, I had a brain fart there. Obstacle course, so you can see our personal bests. Blue Embry on there is in third, you probably don't recognize the yeah, name. Yeah, because Royat Nibas is what he's called on here. Striver at 43 seconds on the dot, which is impressive, and me at the top, I'm under to guy Weedrick instead of huge dev because I may again I think I've said this before but I made this character or made this uh, a long time ago before I even made my YouTube channel. Holy cow! I'm at thirty five uh, point seven four yeah. seconds. What's up? Look back. Look, turn around. Oh yeah, you can go backwards. Huh? There's nothing stopping you. I didn't know that. I thought you had to go through that force field thing. Nah. You can go backwards, but you can't get back to the beginning going that way. So you can actually just, like, go through this and learn what it is beforehand, and then go and do it after. And finally, that's kind of awesome. It's kind of like an endless a void. Oh, man. And yeah, finally... Right yeah. And finally, our last room... The observatory, where we can Which we sit. Use as our convenient little meeting and strategy. Yeah, just sit here, convene, have a nice little thing of the uh, little hologram of the solar system. 
sit down, or I guess kneel, and we can just sit and chat here. I mean, it's a right peaceful now, enough right, little place, too. Yeah, got our banners. And uh, yeah. I know I didn't match right the now. color, but screw it. Just, right. huh. No! I can't do it! What can't you do? I was gonna post my face on it. Oh yeah, no, you can't do anything with uh, that hot bar here, unfortunately. Sad. Where's an angry rant emote? Trying to politely disagree. <laughs> Just, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, so this is our awesome little base. Yeah. Our quaint little base. And uh, with that... I'm all out of time for this episode, so thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys!